once more into the breach, dear friends. Once more. You can always find me in the breach. Uh, oh, <laughs> God damn it, man. I was trying to be Shakespearean, and you just got to throw a bunch it's of... thrown at Pacific Rim. All right. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. yeah There's Pacific nothing Rim. more Shakespearean than Pacific Rim. Please. That's not true. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Dojo Hair Rage Lecture. I am Jeff. I'm John. I'm Matt. Oh my God, we got we got a, we got a three way. No wait, yeah one. we do. Nope, that's the wrong one. Drop them, Jeff. It's, uh, we had uh, an agreement. Uh, yeah, right. Now we're playing Into the Breach, <laughs> <laughs> the new game from uh, the FTL guys, and Woo. set games. Yeah, crazily enough. Uh, I actually played the crap out of this a little bit earlier, and I actually beat it one time. Damn, so, son. Oh, shit. You know, it was on easy, but hey. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, this is a little tactical mech game, and I... Woo. It's like really one part this. Pacific Rim, one part uh, Advance Wars. Yeah, I am all like, for also this. also a little bit chess. Yep, yep. It's all those things and more. So, uh, here we go. We're getting ready to, to start. The first thing you do is put it on easy because... Because you, because I suck. Uh, <laughs> oh then, no, trust me, it's 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 from subset game. They, wait, is that a robot that just throws rocks? Yes, this robot wow. just throws rocks. This That's robot amazing. just has a grappling hook, and this robot has uh, lightning whips. Uh. But, so you basically you get before you start, you can choose uh, one of these characters. Each one of them has a different like kind of power. Huh. Um, and if you actually play through the game and you level a guy up, you can pull that one person into your next game. Mm. And then you unlock these different pilots as time goes on, including Steve Buscemi down here. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Harold Schmidt. Schmidt. Yep. Um, and nice. then from there, you pick your mechs, and you start out with these guys, mm. which are the ones Ooh, that I beat the game fires. with. But then you can unlock different ones. And I like these guys because they got a little metal gear ray right that there. is straight up a metal gear <laughs> yeah and i think i think it's some i think you can also customize a squad where you yep. can actually take different pe guy different robots from mm -hmm. different groups oh, nice or you can just use the standard squads that they <laughs> yep or you can basically pick uh uh randomize and then you unlock uh all the new different squads by basically um uh earning these achievements so each squad has a different set of things that you can earn, but I don't think you actually have to be using the squad because I'm pretty sure the shield thing I earned with a different squad. And then you've right. got uh, different victory conditions. You've got different things from the metagame. You've got these challenges on the island. You've got these pilot challenges. So wow. as you play through the game... Um, <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. I mean, this is have an individual pilot fight the final battle three times across multiple games. So if you just pull the same person into three games, you get that one. Go over the one next to it. Uh, this one? No, the one over... This one? Yeah. Distant friends encounter a familiar face. So it just looks like a bug. That's one, that's one of those Mantis people from oh. FTL that got me the M Mantis. Mantis! <laughs> Fucker moniker. <laughs> Fucking... Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to go with these Rift Walkers because I really know how to use them. All right. Uh, and then you go ahead and hit ba boom and you go, oh, Wee! We're launching. Woo! Oh, God, were we supposed to do that? <laughs> so <laughs> the whole point of this game is uh, you're supposed to go through and beat these islands kind of one sector at a time, and then eventually right. you get a little final goal. So it's a lot like FTL, but unless it's different on normal, um, I think this might be all the things like these are all randomized hmm. but i don't know uh, all right anyway uh oh and then as this guy has um some power uh has a plus one to his reactor because i brought him in because he's leveled up so you can level up and, and kind of just uh customize your mechs here so we'll just go over to all here right. Archive Incorporated! Archive Incorporated. Interesting. Civilizations of the past had a military strength vastly <laughs> in, uh, exceeding ours. Good thing we preserved some of their old war machines. So there's also a whole time travel thing here where you're trying to you're trying to hold back this huge alien invasion, and if uh -huh. you fail, it's like you can just go back and quantum leap into the next one. Uh, Interesting. So you're trying basically to make sure that that you if you if this power grid goes all the way down that's game over. Yeah, and you so, lose. Yeah, each you level lose. has a uh, has like a sub objective. So this one says destroy the dam and kill these five enemies, and that gives you corporate reputation, which you can use to buy upgrades once your island is done. Wow, these are reactor cores that you use to basically like if you want to put more little dots in here, you need to get more cores to install here. Uh, uh, so anyway, well, let's just let's just do this. Do this. Uh, destroy, let's do this yeah, together. Kill at least five enemies. So. Dun 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 uh, dun 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 dun
John, will you stab Matt uh, for just a second, please? Uh, no. Just no? For, no. <laughs> just, oh, a, damn it. just a second. Just a, so w- what I think is cool about this is that the aliens tell you what their attack is going to be. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then your turn is basically how do you, like, stop that, essentially. Hmm. Uh, like so, really? so, so that's where it's like chess. Like, you know what their move is going to be. Get over there, so Steve. the idea is wh- how do you... Uh, counteract what they're going to do so that A, they don't destroy the buildings and or, you know, and then B, maybe hurt themselves in the process. Interesting, interesting. So for this uh, this one, this guy is giving these guys uh, armored status. Um, okay. And we also have a time pod, uh, not to be confused with a tide pod. Um, Ooh, okay. <laughs> this guy's attack goes all the way over here, and I don't really have anything that's going to be able to stop him in one hit, but what I can do is I can hit him and basically move him back one, which is going to push his attack to a place where it's not actually going to do anything. Mm. Uh, and then in the meantime, I'm also going to go ahead and shoot this guy, which is going to push him into him and give me a little extra. Oh, okay. Uh, and then um, Steve over here. Steve! Uh, I'm just going to have him go. Now, one of the things I've actually discovered recently that I really like is that these are the places where the enemies are going to pop up when the next round starts. Yes. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Um, i got to destroy this dam. Uh, <laughs> Our infrastructure, no! I, it's one of the things they want me to do. Um uh, so you can actually, I, I've, I've got strategies where you take damage if you're standing on top of where the enemies are going to come out, but I've actually had a few ones where I've managed just to put people standing on top of all these little e-holes or whatever yeah. they are. <laughs> like, yeah, like you can knock one of the alien creatures on top of that, and then when it spawns, it damages both of them. Oh, that's fun. Um or you could just stand on top of it with your own guys and then just keep anything from coming into the ne- into the uh, the, the level. Oh, that's okay. A, that's an interesting that's an interesting series of mechanics because it reminds me of this game Monster Apocalypse, which was a uh, miniature tabletop war game uh, from a f- couple years back, and it kind of had that. Did you ever play it, John? No. no. Okay. Well, it was a. It's kind of similar to this, where it's like. A, you can use environments, and you can use pushbacks, and you can throw enemies into other enemies, and stuff like that. You can use environmental hazards. So, yeah, that's kind of neat. I'm digging it. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, it's got a little bit of Advance Wars look to it, mm-hmm. um, and uh, it's got giant mechs and kaiju. I like it. Yep. Well, I don't think little they're little. called kaiju, but they're, they're kaiju. They're basically, yeah. Um, uh, mostly just these little bug motherfuckers. Let's see. Uh, we got this. We got. I saw a flying, you. a flying like a squid monster earlier. That was neat. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I do that. That should give me two hits. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's very. That's kind of similar to Monster Apocalypse. Like you had stuff like where you could take a monster and you could, um, if you were next to a building that had a spire. Whoa! You can also knock dudes uh, into the water, which is nice. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just. Sh- I'm gonna shift this guy out of the way so that he doesn't hit my guy when he does his uh. little shot. So, um, what's uh, um, go. yeah, what's what's everybody's um, what's everybody's current opinion of uh, what Pacific Pacific Rim two like? What are y'all thinking about that? I Upright. like Pacific Rim one. I'm willing to give it a to to give it a shot. It's right. great. Yeah, it gets a I'm, shot in my book. Uh, I'm excited for it. Good. Okay. Let's see. Like I, I even if it's dumb, stupid fun, that's that's what I want. I feel like I should be more excited for it. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Are you, have you just have you lost the the will? Have you lost all the all the the, <laughs> the will to kaiju? <laughs> Say it ain't oh, so no, bad. I no, mean, come on. See, then I'd be dead. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, then you need to call a doctor. Oh. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Nah. Um, no, I, I think it's just, um, you know what it might be part of it is that it doesn't really quite have that Del Toro flair to it that the first movie had. Because the giant bugs can't swim. Stand around on the ground, but. Um, and that's it. So. Woo! Perfect victory. Perfect Thank victory. you. Nothing, Nothing was damaged. damaged except for the fucking dam has exploded. That was an objective. It I, told me. And I, then I got a time pod. So <laughs> Woo. Uh, you open these up and you get, uh, so in this case, we got a, a, got a guy, a, another pilot and a reactor core. Okay. So when you start, you only have like one pilot, mm-hmm. but you can take these guys. These guys are just 
kind of placeholder garbage. Uh, <laughs> but you can take this guy, gain one extra reset turn every battle. I never use him, but you can at least put them in there, um, and they're a little bit better. Mm. And you can see that each one of these, this is uh, to upgrade your power grid, which okay. is what you do in the beginning. And then these give you stars, which at the end you'll be able to, to um, uh, spend. But... Seeing as how, oh, do I want to do that? I don't want to do one of these guys. Plus one, plus building for me. No, I'm going to do this guy. Steam so I'm going to take mod. this off. I'm going to put that module that I just got in here, and I'm going to give him the yeah. ability to do a dash. Nice. Smash with his thing. Kind of so. getting a little uh, little bit of a Chroma Squad vibe, too. Which I need to go back and play that. Yeah, they just released that on, uh, or not just, but they released it on the iPad uh, a little while Get out of here, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I shit. Played through it on the iPad. It was really good. I need to, I need to, I could get some they also playtime out of that. just released a, a episode editor for that. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. I'll have to, yeah, I will have on to download that. Steam only. Steam. The episode oh, editor. Oh, episode, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Um... Morgan and I need to figure out what's going on with our uh, with our main computer because, um, like, that's where we have all our Steam games on, and we tried to uh, turn it on the other day, and it won't connect to the internet. So we're like, uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Whoa! Yeah, this uh, this level has uh, carpet bombs. Yeah, airstrikes that happen. A lot of them have. Um, I like it because uh, if it was just. If it was just, if it didn't have anything like that, if it didn't have this level of randomization, I feel like it would end up being kind of more like, um, maybe like the Banner Saga, where it's just mm. very, very chess-like. Yeah. Um, right. So uh, that's two. That's one. Um, tip, tip, tip. So if I do this, and then I shoot this guy down one, Brr. and then I use this. Not the forest. If I shoot this guy, then it should knock that guy in the water. No, the and then forest. Go stand on top of this e hole. Uh, e hole. Yes. Is that really what it's called? I don't know. That's Emergence what hole? That's what they call it in Gears of War. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aha! Yeah. Try to come up under my feet while standing on top of my feet. Fuck cellar door. In my feet. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm also, the, the, the area effect, like randomization thing, that's. Um, I'm basically just going to be comparing this to other monster strategy games and I've that's played. That's perfectly fine. Um, uh, there is a board game called it's it's a Godzilla board game called Kaiju World Wars, and it has these big area effect things that happen. Like you can draw a card at one point, and a nuke will go off, and that section of the map is now extremely radioactive. So that's kind of neat. I like that. Oh, he's about to level up. That bug is on fire. Yep. He'll take damage. He is on fire! No, 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 Well, see, this guy is is about to level up, and I'd like I'd like for him to shoot, but if he shoots this guy, it's going to knock him into these buildings and damage them, and if he's standing here, then he's going to get hit by the last airstrike when it comes down, so I'm just going to go ahead and give this guy the, uh, oh, wait, um, fuck. Did nothing. Zoom. I can't, I mean, he's going to... Okay, fine. It's the building's gonna get fucked up. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. If I if my if I remember correctly, uh, he takes that fire damage before he gets his turn, and it should uh. kill him. Oh hey, yeah! Hey. That was all. No whammies. No whammies. Yep. So ah. woo, we did it. Yeah. Is that fire all right, Jim? I don't know. It's funny. This isn't exactly like you know. The, the 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 best looking game I've ever played in my entire life, but I sat right. down to play it before we started and then it was like four hours later and I was like, Oh right. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's 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 good though. That's uh that's a good problem to have. Yeah. Um I'm also like, you know, I, of course my, my brain is just on fire now, so I'm all like speaking of robots and monsters <laughs> John, what do you think of... What are you not speaking about robots and monsters? Again, when I'm dead. Okay. Um, John, what do you think of Lupin Ranger versus Pato Ranger? Uh, I've only watched the first episode. I really liked it. Okay, good. Like, my immediate reaction was like, there's no way in hell this will ever be adapted. Well, I mean, the Saban's, well, Saban is surprising us. For those of you who don't know what the hell we're talking about, Jeff. Um, I'm just playing this video game over <laughs> here. You guys can watch all, all the Power Rangers. You have your Power Rangers Sentai. podcast. It's Sentai and Power Rangers. They're two yeah. different things, uh -huh. though they are related. Okay. I mean, well, let's be let's be clear. Uh, the, the, uh, Power Rangers wouldn't exist without Sentai. So, yeah. Yeah. But, um, but the, that's the new Sentai series, and... Um, 
it's actually about two teams that are fighting each other, like two teams of rangers, which I think is really interesting. Yeah, it's what like they fighting over. Well, like, they're criminal rangers and police rangers. Yeah. Like like these rebel, oh, it's like Need for Speed Most Wanted. So the, the, <laughs> sure, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, that's, obviously. So it's, so it's like uh, so there's Need. Uh, so there's the <laughs> God damn it, Jeff. Uh, no, it's so there's the Lupin Rangers who are gentlemen thieves. Right. Yeah. Um, they're like they're they're kind of like kind of have a bit of a persona vibe to them. Um, you know, like the like Lupin, right? Yeah, from the Lupin the, the well, third. Well, yeah, like Lupin, uh, which is are actually based on the the term Lupin is actually the name of a thief. A real life thief, right? Um, that Lupin the Third is based on as well, right? That's a um, um, yeah. So so yeah, and then the the Pat Rangers are police officers, so they're trying to catch the gentlemen thieves Woo, because they're job. criminals. Yeah, yeah. But also the 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 the, the bad guys. I forget what their names are. Yeah. There's like a there is a essentially bad guy, a gang. Called yeah, Huddies. You guys no. taught me that before. No, that Buddies was Power are from Rangers. old Power Rangers. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So like the bad guys in this one are like a, a gang, uh, like a mo- mafia style like group of monsters who have stolen this collection, mm-hmm. um, and the Lupin Rangers are trying to get this collection back because apparently it belonged to the original thief whose name was Lupin, um, and the police Rangers are basically trying to stop both of them, and right. the Lupin Rangers are trying to get their their shit back essentially right. and they have to fight each other because the cops want to arrest the robbers and the robbers are like whatever you're cops you're losers Fuck. Uh, you can't destroy the tank it's a bonus objective uh, defend the tanks yeah to defend them uh, yeah, I get you I don't um, I don't think I've got any way to uh, I boned this one yeah you boned it well I mean I guess I can get rid of I can I can Kill the tank, uh, but save the city. Yeah, this will destroy. This will lower my grid defense, and the stars are just for buying stuff at the end of the round. And I still have one tank left. Um, no, but sure, uh, well, it happens. Yeah, sometimes you gotta um, blow up a tank. I mean, I mean you can't make a, f- a war without blowing up a tank. That's what the that's, old, that's the old saying. That's how the old saying. That's what it is. is how the old saying yeah. goes. Uh, um, oh fuck. Oh. Uh, uh, this is bad. Um, oh boy! Oh boy! Um, but yeah, well, that sounds cool, John. I'm actually gonna have to check it out. I've uh, I'm a little behind, so yeah. But um, you read the Power Rangers comics? Yeah, yeah, they're really good. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually fully caught up on on both uh, the Power Rangers and the Go Go Power Rangers. Go Go Power Rangers are really good. Yeah, yeah. Well, why are we talking so softly? I don't know, because <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no the. Yeah, it's all really good. I, I'm I'm actually you know looking forward to a lot of the stuff Power Rangers wise. Sure, like I've been on a like a real like Power Rangers kick these last couple of months. You want to tell the audience about um, how we? Um... Oh well, I mean I haven't told. I, I, they, some of our patrons uh, yeah. know about uh, that. I ran a, a Sentai slash Power Ranger themed RP tabletop RPG with Matt and a bunch of other friends. Yeah, as well. Amanda uh, was the Red Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> and I was my first time ever DMing a game. How did it go? Uh, pretty good. I thought. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, no, I, I, I enjoyed I, it. I uh, uh, almost made Matt cry, and I felt really bad about it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, you felt bad? Why? Because I, I wasn't, I like, I didn't want to make him cry. Like, Well, no, like, it just meant you were doing a good job. Yeah, but, you know, it was, he, he played. Put he, him in a situation, and, uh, yeah. It went badly. I, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I just, um, well, no, uh, I mean, the short version is that my character was, um, kind of screwed up at the, at her, at her, his job. He's a, he lo- his boy looks like a girl. It's an anime thing. Um, and, uh, but he screwed up at his job. And then you turned to me and you gave me this very stern, like, good job, Jeff. Gave me this very stern, um, like, you. Yeah, as the NPC. Yeah, as, as this, he was playing this, you know, because he's the DM, so or GM, whatever, and 
Yeah, and you were like, you know, you you need you need to go oh, home. No. Oh no! Oh oh shit! What happened? We lost uh, stuff. So once you you've gone through about half of these, then you get to boss fight. So oh okay. Oh. This is uh, now we've get uh, a, the spider leader, which is good because spider some uh, sort of spider like monstrosity, almost like a spider monster. It's, it's the spider sucks. Like okay. there's there's ones that are way worse than the spider. Oh look at him, he's so cute. It just spawns little spiders that are garbage. Um, okay. But yeah, so if we get through this, then we get to finish this island, spend our points, and then we can either go into another island or we can, um, I think in some cases you can actually just jump, try to jump. The more islands that you do, the more prepared you are when you get to the end game, but the more chances you have to fuck it all up and not be able to get to the end game. So, um, <coughs> spiders. Spiders. Okay. Uh, I like it. Uh, and then it puts out the new ones. <coughs> And wow, this is this is a shit show situation right here. Uh, actually, this should be really easy because with the knockback, I got both. Oh, of them. nice. Okay. That's why I'm saying that like he spawns one, one hit point garbage. So like, eh. All right. Um, and blow up <laughs> your eggs. So how you like me now, motherfucker? Motherfucker. Um, and I'm gonna push you in a corner. Woo! And uh, we'll call that one Dunzo. Nice. All right. Good you don't job. actually even have to destroy see the uh, for pretty much everything you have this thing up here that shows as long as I could survive for four more turns and the uh, grid doesn't go all the way offline um, I will get I will win but then mm. I'm still trying to get the bonus objectives because it's just a real pain in the ass having uh, this big yeah. spider fuck face. Around. Protect the corporate tower. Uh, so. Protect capitalism. Protect the Disney, <laughs> the Disney Corporation. I mean, that's basically where things are going. Just do that, and then I think if I hit this guy, yeah, then he'll hit his little spider buddy. Bam. No, my children. And oh, he's actually gonna. So this is the nice thing about this. I this is way beyond Jeff, but like you can set enemies up to attack each other. Yeah. Oh, because okay. Because since he's already declared his attack, like when I end this turn, he's oh. gonna attack his own little egg up there and no! kill. Him. And then um, Spire Leader is like, you motherfucker! You That's killed Jimmy! Baby. Jimmy! Yeah. Meh. Um, anyway, sorry. No, 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 no. no, that's, no. That's, that's, you're explaining the game. That's This looks like fun. This looks like something to play uh, if you have a lot of fun with it. I, I fully expect at some point, since FTL did eventually go to like uh, tablets, that this is going to be a tablet game at yeah. some point. Um, I'll play I, know a, I know a ton of people. A ton of people are like, release this on the Switch. Release this on the Switch for the love of God. Yeah, <laughs> um, I can see that. Can no, see not that. you know, no word if it's ever going to happen. Yeah, I think they said right now we're just focusing on getting the PC version released, and then making sure that if any bugs do pop up, we fix those. <laughs> <Bugs>. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so I think they're they're trying to make the get this completely up running done and then um uh, and then they'll look at what other platforms well that's uh sounds nope. pretty good to me no nope. no nope. first move this one. then hit this get him good battle. job jeff there we go yeah and i think that's it i think uh, use the sword if there's anything left when you get to the end of your turns they just they just go away so, Man. yeah, we did it. Uh, they go back in their evil. Completed the mission. You saved the world. Your corporate tower, blah, 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 blah. And then um, once you're done, then you get, uh, oh, I got a, I got an achievement. I don't know why. All right. Um, so then you get to spend your reputation. So you get basically there's passive abilities, um, and then there's active abilities. But so you can see that this is for a science ship. So this is a oh, science okay. weapon. I don't actually have any science guys. Got it. This is self-destruct, which I don't really understand why the fuck you would ever want to do, except for <laughs> maybe the fact that you can kill a, a pilot. Um, you, if one of these guys dies in combat, you lose all the pilot bonuses, but you can still use the mech as an AI weapon later. Oh, okay. So um, this is missile barrage. What? That looks awesome. That's Fires sweet. Missile barrage hits every enemy on the map. 
Oh, but you can only use it one time. Uh, in a yeah. Uh, well, still, uh, that's still pretty good. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a reactor core to be able to install that, and then I'm going to add. So the other thing here is that the grid, this grid defense number goes up the more power grids you have, and there's basically a 15% chance that if an enemy tries to attack a power building, it'll just go boop and like bounce off. Oh, nice. So I'm going to hit this, and that gives me an extra 2%. And then nice. I, Very nice. This is the thing here. We'll put this in, install it. So now I've got missile barrage. Woo! Uh, and. Yeah, so... Well, that is pretty sweet. I think I had 25 minutes. I feel like I can't... I think I have to get at least two of these because uh, there's actually an achievement for, like, getting two... Uh, going after... Going to the end of the game after two, three, and four islands beat. Uh, and then I think interesting. it adjusts. Okay. But the main thing that I'm interested in is the fact that I was able to beat this. Like, yeah, where right. F FTL, I've never managed to even... I got to the end of FTL once, and that was it. So Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, I'm sure they're going to add stuff to it over time and make it more complicated. I don't know. I mean, it's entirely possible also that if I was playing this on normal, that it would have... Would be kicking it, your ass? That it, it yeah. would be way harder. Yeah. Uh, sure. Because, I mean, every, everything I've read is a set. It's pretty much on the same level of uh, difficulty as, as FTL, um, but that it's a little bit more forgiving. Mm. Yeah. Where FTL might not be. And then I know right now there's a lot of people that are pissed that on the PC that it has a locked frame rate. Uh, so you have a lot of PC Master Race people being like, "What? Why? Sixty frames per second locked frame rate in a game that was released in 2018? What the fuck is this bullshit? This game sucks. Don't wish I was dead." I don't understand that one. I no, just want to assume that PC people are always thinking. Um, um, also, apparently, in the beta for it, there was a. Uh, it had like controller support, but in the full version, it currently does not have controller support. Yeah, I did notice that, which I thought was a little that that is one that I might say seems a little myopic in in twenty eighteen. But they did say that that is something <laughs> that's <they're> going. To <laughs> that was awesome. Dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that I was really doing that. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, but they did say that controller support is something that is going to be re-added back in. It's just they wanted to tweak it a little bit. Got it. Okay. That's right. I read up on this game. Oh, good for you. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know why I felt the need Very to. Very aggressive. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> good for you, you piece of shit. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, like I said, I made him cry a few weeks ago. Let's try, perfectly let's try this new, cry. new thing. <laughs> Missile barrage. You are you. You. <laughs> Waffles needs. Waffles needs lots of love and care, and he needs friends. That's why I put him in the same tank as all the other salamanders. No. Uh, yeah, oh. now no one knows what you're Now nobody knows what's happening. <laughs> uh, uh, it's all right. Ah, shit. What are, your, what are your thoughts, John, on Hasbro taking over the uh, license for Power Rangers? It is it is what it is. Yeah. Um, I have some, some strange theories based on a few things sure. uh, that I, I won't go into here because it's a little bit too so high this level. So kill one of my buildings. Oh, no! So I got casualties, lost oh, my. Man. No! So yeah, that goes all the way down. That's kind of the life bar of the whole game. So got it. Okay, that's yeah. an interesting. That's interesting because that's kind of a that's kind of an aspect of a lot of um, a lot of uh, games that they don't really consider is like the level of destruction. Yeah, you're causing like um, one of my favorite games of all time is is Robot Alchemic Drive. Uh, I'll, actually, I'll get to that in a minute. John, uh, you were talking about your... Shut up, Jeff. You were talking about your... No, I just think you brought up Robot Alchemic Drive last week. <laughs> I know, and I don't get to talk about it because it's like my, one of my favorite games of all time. Okay. All yeah, right. but I'll get to that in a minute. John, but <laughs> you had a thought about Hasbro. You were kind of uh, about um, it. So, no, no, I'm actually okay with Woo, it. Um, good job, Jeff. Because, I mean, if you think about it, Hasbro, wh what are the two things Hasbro's doing right now that Power Rangers... Uh, is is would would need toy wise? Well, you want action figures of the Rangers, right? Which Hasbro makes the Marvel Legends line, right? Which means that we're going to get some good Ranger figures, uh -huh. um, both in the three inch and the six inch scale, or, you know, the different yeah, scales, or whatever, yeah. Um, and then also you need the Zords. And what what else is Hasbro most known for? Giant fucking robots. Robots in disguise. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I think yeah. that if they're gonna go with uh, another company, that's perfectly fine. That's great. I just remember not being really, um, not being really. Uh, I, it, I just remember being completely unimpressed with their Jurassic World toys. Yeah. Which is why I'm really glad that um, Mattel's toys look so much better. But. Uh, that's fine. Uh, no, I'm, I'm. I think it's really interesting. Um, 
like I said, I have some theories. Oh, when we get cool. done recording, I'll. Oh, what are you gonna do? I'll let uh, you know. I set up sure. this. These, this, this guy does a charge attack. Oh! <laughs> so when he executed his attack, he killed his buddy. Oh no! So, <gasps> Bill. <laughs> Stupid. And so Bill, this, I loved him. Some reason on this map, there's just these this big holes hole. that these guys <laughs> come out of. Um, yeah, huh. it's, you know, like caverns. Uh, eh, I don't know. Sinkholes. Hold on. I don't know if this will. Property values in this area are real low. One. But you're trying to attack. No, we'll go for it. I think uh -huh. it should be fine. Smack him around that way. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. You can just get out of his way. Steve! Uh, and then... Wait, how much does he have left? Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, 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 never mind. Uh, undo that and just hit him with this one. Boom. We're gonna use... Uh, we're gonna move him over here. Oh, shit, he's in smoke now. Uh... uh. Nice! And everybody gets a little, gets a little piece. So what, how did he get in smoke? Uh, certain types of weapons will either have a random chance to proc smoke or like the guys that the, I think they're called the, the Blitzkrieg was the team that I was looking at when we first started with the laser whip guys like yeah. half of their things are all about creating smoke and then hitting enemies into the smoke that you've created so it uh, it's cover but you can't shoot out of it okay um, I think I'm not entirely certain about interesting that. Oh, wait no that's not gonna work um um, um, yeah, that's the only way, isn't it? Fucker, fucker. <laughs> so mad. You uh, did it. Uh, let's see. You did it. This guy, this guy, this guy. Eh, 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 eh. Um, Shoot. yeah, but on the, Ooh, yeah, okay. oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's just like, yeah, oh, I want this, oh, I eat, oh, I, oh. Um, yeah, but uh, on the subject of robot alchemic drive, I just remembered um, one of the aspects of that game that I thought was very amusing was that you you have to protect you have to protect a certain percentage of the city and if you protect a certain percentage of, like when the game first starts out you can just destroy shit willy nilly uh, with your giant robots and stuff but then after a while your um, your bosses basically tell you yeah so we're destroying too much of the city so if if um, the city is destroyed past a certain point we won't have enough money to fund upgrades to our robots. But if you protect certain buildings, you'll get a bonus. <laughs> just have, I'm having a horrible Metal Gear Survive flashbacks as you say that. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, I, oh, your shit's under attack. Yeah, I mean, but, but the best part of this is that um, in one of the, in at least one of the episodes, maybe more, your financial, your financial advisor, if you start destroying, getting buildings destroyed, she'll have a heart attack because she stressed her out too much. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's really weird. She's just like, oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's weird. It's real weird. Okay. And I don't think there's any way to, I think in that particular mission, there's no way to actually like keep her from getting a heart attack because the monsters just go straight for the buildings you're supposed to be protecting. She's like, no, our money. Ah! <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, What platform was this game on? Oh, it was PlayStation 2. Uh, it was, oh, did he do it? Ah, bar, bar, bar. Um, jumped in that Was hole. this a Japanese Bro. exclusive thing? Or? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, they released it for the States. Okay. In fact, um, it's this. it was Sandlot, the company that did uh, that went on to do Earth Defense Force. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's got that same vibe to it. That, like, EDF! EDF! Sorry. Yeah. You, it's got that same vibe to it of like this this open city you're kind of running around in, the destroyable buildings and people running, but it's super uh, low... Super low frame rate, uh, kind of primitive, but the dubbing is great. And by great, I mean terrible. I've never seen a voice actor actually uh, sound out the automatopoeia for screaming. What is that? A a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a this person in the microphone goes Kia when they get when they die. <laughs> nice. But like in that tone, in that like that, that Kia. <laughs> Director's just like good enough. Let's move on. <laughs> Thanks, Bill from accounting. Take twenty six. Um, <laughs> you know what? Good enough. Ah, good, we'll use we that one. We got this. 
It also weirdly had a Japanese person voicing a character. And she's the only person in the game with a Japanese accent. And I mean like this, uh, this like really stilted English is not my first language. Woo. Yeah. Ooh, good job. I thought Steve was going to bite it there for a second. Uh, Steve. I don't know. It's weird because this feels like uh, when, I, when I play FTL, I feel like I'm always on the just always right on the edge of just it's, it's always going to be any moment. It's it going to just be you. game over. It's going to be and like here. I feel like I've got a, a pretty decent handle. I'm yeah. like, I appreciate the way that easy is not ridiculously easy. Like it takes a little time to get, especially with the different mechs to kind of understand how everything works, but doable. As opposed to FTL. I'd like to try this on normal and see, like, how much easier it is. Or or not easy, so to speak. There's a... Um, there's a... Uh, uh, there, uh, on normal, there's a... Um, there's a I don't know how to describe this, right? John, maybe you can help me with this. Uh, in FTL, there's kind of like this sense of like you have to be playing this weird five-dimensional chess to make sure that everything fits together in just the right way. And if it doesn't fit together, it's like having to deal with a certain amount of like um, a certain Jeez. amount of attrition in your in your units and being able to trade off like like ship for you know it's expanding stuff i don't i'm not really explaining this right but there's a there's a way to play ftl i know that people play ftl and have fun with it but for me it's always just like it's nerve-wracking like it doesn't it, i don't know i don't find it really like relaxing hmm. at all but uh good soundtrack though oh sure uh, I, I this is reminding me i played a, a shit ton of um what was it uh, i played a shit ton of xcom enemy unknown <laughs> not too long ago and uh really enjoyed it but then i hit this wall where i was like shit i cannot get past this level i think it was when i tried to invade the mothership or something oh yeah yeah that's where you'll uh that's where you lose it in, in on normal that's where i that's where i started over on easy oh yeah in xcom enemy unknown because i was just like nope 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 yeah, i kept uh, everybody just kept dying and uh, meh drown along with older Abe looks like he's got some problems yeah he's definitely your, your kind of grizzled uh, seen things you couldn't possibly imagine I uh, uh, like uh, 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 All right, I'm not here to save you I tell you what we're, we're actually a little bit over the time that I wanted to do this uh, but we should be really close to seeing the end uh, of a okay. two banger so two banger. um i'm gonna i'm gonna try to get through that two banger real fast because i right. feel like i'm on a roll but Mom, i'm not look um so here we've got the scorpion leader wow cool uh no which, no he's webbed up your your vehicle yeah your your to your tank he's webbed up steve oh no that's isaac so i'm gonna get him out of that area and then uh far foot nugan um <laughs> uh, Move him out of that area. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Burgers. Um, Cockpit. Okay, fine. Um, this is why we build up the grid is so that we could lose a little bit and it's not a big deal. All right. But I don't know. So far, I'm really enjoying this. Like, this is one of those games. It's kind of like, um, like Heat Signature last year. I like it a lot more than I liked FTL, yeah, uh, like really a lot more than I liked FTL. Oh yeah, this definitely feels like a, a step up. Like they they, I didn't play FTL at any point, but I, I mean it, it's just up my alley. It's robots fighting monsters. Seems neat. Okay. Oh, so now his attack has been. Yeah, canceled. I think Jeff and I played FTL on a on a super awesome video game show mm. a long time ago. Oh shit! And then I bought it on my iPad. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're going to lose some bellens. Yeah. No! Oh, oh! Resist! Woo! Jeff just threw up the horns. That yeah. means he's having fun. Um, <clears throat> just need to get rid of this. Shut up, Grandma. Scorpion. She's uh, like, Arr. Let's see. You can't. You have yeah. to protect the buildings. They all make Grandma's old-fashioned cookies. Um, what? But nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm talking about the one of the the CEO, the CEO person. 
who's like, Meh. that's that's you my that's my old bullets. lady sound effect. My old lady sounds a lot like my Skeletor. God damn it! Yeah. That building is going to eat it too. But I think now that the scorpion's gone, I should at least have. Uh, it's one of the nice things is once you get done with an island, you can you can't just spend a bunch of your points. Oh, oh! noise! Very nice. You can't noise. risk that building being s hit again. Yeah. It's fine. Now we should be just fine. I'm going to make that one bug kill his buddy. So. Dun, dun, hit, dun, hit your, dun, hit your dun, fucking dun, guy over there. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Let's see. And. No, Mon I'm Jeff. just going to have your. I'm just going to have your buddy. I'm just going to have you kill your buddy. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. And you, I want you. No, wait, that can't do that. Uh, can I kill him? No, I'm going to take a hit. That's all right. I'll shield the... You, you always get your health back at the end of every round. So as long as you... Got can, it. I've got one more turn, but watch this guy. He's going to go, bam! No! Jimmy! <laughs> yep. They flee, they flee, but will return. The so. VEC. The VEC gets a very Japanese sounding. All like. right. Let me, let me cr crank on through here, and we can check it, take a look at what it looks like when you try to beat the game. Ooh. Ooh, it's a new person. Uh, mech can act twice if it does not move. All right. Interesting. Okay, that interesting. could be really useful. Sure. Grid power, astro bombs. I'm just going to pick the grid power because I need Woo. it. Uh, what do we got? This is a uh, grapple hook, which sucks. Boosters and smoke mortar. What does the smoke do? I don't think we've actually answered that. It it covers your it, it keeps a, a uh, an enemy from acting basically. Oh okay. Um, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab one of these. And then, if I'm not mistaken, I think um, yeah, smoke bomb. Power that up. And how many? Okay, because I can use that infinite number of times. And then, is everybody is good? Okay, so then you get to go to the the end game, uh, which we won't actually get to the end of, but you know, it's worth at least just looking at. And this is like the where they're the island that they're originating from. Yeah, or? yeah, and basically mm. this the whole level is just really full of bugs, bugs, like boss bugs. Wow. Um, uh, and the only goal is to survive the flight, the fight. Yeah, you have to survive for five turns, and then you drop down, and you have to survive another another four or five turns. But then you get a lot of like this is just going to open up into a crack of magma that will destroy magma every single person. Whoa, those motherfuckers! I hate those fucking things so much. They rock them. Yeah, they right. block your ability to get up on them and and uh, uh, fuck them up. Uh, Interesting. Like okay. A lot of. I wonder if this will hit. No, it's not going to take out the rocks. Um, let's see. Get him, Steve! Uh, that could work. I just want him to be somewhere else when he does it, because that should cancel his attack. Um, and then three, two. He stands on that thing. He's going to get killed when the ground opens up into hellish magma. Magma. Uh, no, no, no. Uh. Nope. Here we go. Nope. 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 There we go. You get in the water. Yep. I can definitely tell that Jeff is enjoying this. Uh, and good for. Uh, oh, oh shit! I forgot. He's a flyer. Uh, he doesn't get. Damn it, Jeff! Lava happens, but he's not actually doing anything either. He's attacking just lava. Um, oh, ah, fuck face. <laughs> so this is the uh, volcano erupting. Is these little things? All right. Uh, why? Why? Why are you guys all? <sighs> This is, seems very aggressively up in the business of these mechs that you don't need to be all up and aggressive. He, with. He, I was like, why, why, why are you like this? <laughs> uh, let's see. Scion Tyrant. That's a cool name. Uh, what is? Oh, uh, can I hit him from here? This is a long distance, but yeah, but that's not gonna do anything. <laughs> uh, Anyway, yeah. you know what? We should probably wrap this up uh, okay. because it's yeah. going to be forever. And uh, <laughs> I told Matt that we would try to keep our videos shorter, and I already have lied. So, um, <laughs> hey, folks, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like, subscribe button. If you would like to see these videos a day earlier, you can always head over to Rage Select. We got fun stuff for you over there. Um, if you would like to help Rage Select to continue to be a thing, uh, patreon.com forward slash Rage Select is where you can go to do that. Uh, basically, you kick us some bucks, and in return, we're going to kick you bonus videos that nobody else in the entire goddamn world gets to see. It, no one else! It is awesome. For uh, those wondering, Jeff and I just finished a full playthrough through Resident Evil 7 and all of its Ooh. DLC. That's true. 
We just did. We're about to start a new playthrough of some mysterious game. Mysterious. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what we're doing just yet, but uh, that's why I said mysterious. Anyway, yeah, patreoncom forward slash Also, if you would like to buy anything. Uh, in the world from Amazon. Amazon, uh, uh, if you go to the Amazon through the links that are down below our videos, we get a little piece of whatever it is that you buy. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. God hates you. Uh, Matt, do you want to tell people, is there anything, where should they go? What should they do? Should they oh, buy things? Oh, sweet Jesus. Should um, they look at things? Should they not look at things? Uh, don't look at anything. Don't look at me. Okay. Yeah, especially not right now. Um... I'm waiting for Jeff to turn around. No, I just, I just, I seriously consider just having my cock in my hand. Anyway, um, I, <laughs> Matt, uh, John, aren't you no, glad no. that you came over today? Uh, yes, actually. Okay, so now you can find me if you just Google Matt Frank and Godzilla. You'll generally find my stuff. I am working on getting like a hub website back up. We're gonna have everything uh, linked to that. Um, yeah, uh, we've got stuff coming out, uh, uh, you know, you can go listen to me over on the Giganticast on, uh, oneofus.net, it's my other thing that I'm actually doing a lot more regularly now, I'm about to record a new episode, uh, this week about Monster Hunter. Nice. So, that'll be fun, um, and, uh, yeah, you know, I've got other stuff coming out, uh, I've got, um, I've got a Reptar cover coming out for the Rugrats comics, I just had an Adventure Time cover come out. So go check those out at your local comic book shop. So just support your local comic book shop, and uh, that's oh, that's kind of all I have. Cool. Uh, this has been into the breach. This game, if it hasn't already been uh, apparent by my lack of being able to say anything, is <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, check it out, and we'll see you back here tomorrow with another brand new video.